Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will look into a scenario in which a red country from the alternate rise of civilization comes to the real world, which would mean they would have parts of Qatar, Oman, Yemen, the UAE, Saudi Arabia. Still, Yemen exists. But now they realize full worlds discovered and they have much greater technology. They somehow came to the real world. But keep in mind, this video is no link to the series other than the fact that this civilization became a country. So that's their first thing to do. Well, they realize, unlike when there's a revolt and they couldn't take Africa over again, they find that the full world's discovered, they know everything that's in the world, and they realize, oh wait, we're not in our timeline. They somehow came to the real life timeline, let's say. In 2024, let's say that's how they returned. But how did they get here? No one knows. They're not sure. But they're pretty happy that all the technology is better. And that they can quickly, and I mean swiftly, take back what they say is rightfully theirs. And the world is questioning this thing. What is that? Saying this is theirs. And then they... Are starting to get confused because they've never heard of a red country. Yep, the red country. As ever eyes come to know and excited about. As you can see, they quickly run around Somalia. And then they start to tell Kenya we'll invade you next. After they collapse all the Horn of Africa, they still want to go further. They have greed for expansion is what the world is realizing. And then once they realize this country isn't supposed to be here, the country is Sudan, Egypt, Tanzania, and Saudi Arabia want to get rid of this nation. No other nation does because it's convenient for them to get rid of them. That's why they want to get rid of them, obviously. Not because, well, really because they're scared of this nation and what it could do. With all this new technology it somehow got his hands on. Also, we're going to say the military is the same size, but it's all new technology. And a lot of other things we can expect. Saudi Arabia got weaker because it lost most of its southern land. With them realizing about this pact, they quickly decide to act. They don't want to let these guys ruin their takeover. Basically, they compare them to the blue country. As we know, the one that has fallen apart. And they know about this land. They know what they're fighting on. And so as you can see, Arabia might have made a bad decision with its allies, Saudi might have. Tanzania decides not to get involved and they start getting more diplomatically friendly with the the red country. Yep, this is her idea that's still called the red country. Everybody's annoyed by the name of it, but yeah. Because they're not communist or anything, so it just doesn't make sense. And then moving across Egypt's coast, going down the Nile. And then they move over here into all the non-deserty areas. And eventually these two nations are brought to their knees. But since this nation isn't used to not annexing what they take over, they annex it. And they decide they're pretty happy, but they're going to continue north. They think Iran, which they're now finding as the name of the country, one of the countries. But with some random thing happening, a coup that makes a country that is every religion just getting along somehow, happens between Israel, Jordan, Palestine, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, and Kuwait, but Iran doesn't see this as realistic, so they annex it. Now, Turkey not liking the look of Iran's expansionism. They're not the most too upset when they hear the red country declares war. They're not, they don't care that much that they're also joining. Because they claim some of these lands. And the red team's thankful that they actually help. But who knew they would help the red team? The red team is glorious in all its might. And them having taken this much is where the first Turkish forces cross the border into this mega Iran. Yep. And, well, they move into this area. 
as they're planning on after this annexing Azerbaijan. With Iran not expecting this huge of an offensive against them. And Iran is struggling to stay afloat, as you can see. They're failing, they're losing. And there's nothing they can do for some reason, even though they should be able to crush the red country, and never I should. But somehow the red country hasn't been stopped. But maybe it's because they actually are more using and of their objects to use this war. Or maybe it's that they still haven't the have anti-war people or something. Or maybe it's because Iran is falling apart from the inside out. Which is probably the most likely explanation. But you know. What is going on in this world? Who knows? But anyways. And as we know, Turkey gets a bit of land. Because why not? Why not give Turkey some land? Which they give Turkey this. And they decided to annex this much of Iran. Now, the rest Afghanistan will get. For some reason, they think it's a good idea to give Afghanistan this. But anyways, I don't know what their plan is in this. But now they view themselves as a strong... Look, they just did that. Look at Afghanistan. Look how strong Afghanistan is becoming. Maybe that will stabilize them. Let's just say Afghanistan becomes stable. And yeah, that's good news for Afghanistan. And so the continuation of this conflict with the red country comes the people in the African region revolting against their control. I guess even when they're not in their own dimension universe, they still can't control this revolt. And basically it declares a blue country being located there. Basically, this is like a tiny like collapse, they think. But in reality, it's much bigger than that. And as you can see, a bit of red will be in the country because it happens. And if I do that, it's going to look great. And with the collapse of their African holding starting, with the more so inland area, declaring themselves as Daffer. And then we have the these regions leaving. Which means Sudan basically split into three countries. Egypt splits into two countries. One based over here. One based along the Nile. The Nile based one is bigger. Because it is. And then another place breaks away. Followed by another place. The inland Egyptian one is also really Israel, Egypt, I guess you could say. And with their capitulation starting, Turkey makes an advance to take some lands, along with Afghanistan, because why not? As they just walk in and annex this, there's nothing left to defend this new country. As this country only focused on expansion and didn't realize this could happen in this world, I guess they thought they were better than the people in this world, but they were wrong! Now look at them. As they now declare this their core territory south of here. That they would never let go of. But this area decides, yeah, that's a bit exaggerated and does that. With this area saying, yeah, we want our freedom. We want freedom. And basically, there's no more Saudi Arabia. Could have they been the cure to the Middle East bad borders or not? Who's to say? But they went from being the strongest nation to the weakest nation. Ah, oh, that strong of a nation. But they didn't realize that they were overexpanding. And their overexpansion ultimately led to their collapse, which is a bit of a big deal for them. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Bye, guys.